brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. These are places, if they are intact, that, that have meaning for us, and I think we should be allowed to um, know about them before they are disturbed. Vice Speaker Therese Terlahi said this of the more than one dozen historic sites at both Finnegodzin and Retidian that face negative impacts stemming from the military buildup. State archaeologist for Guam, John Mark Joseph, detailed how roughly 25 stones and other artifacts at Finnegazin will likely be excavated and stored by the military from a Ladi site called Magua that was originally bulldozed in the 1950s. How they're going to be used, where they'll, they'll be used for reburials or um, um, for um, redoing a um, Ladi um, set for... Um, Visit, visitors or something like that, tourism or something, I, I'm not sure at this point. Then there's concerns lingering over historic sites at Retidian. There are 15 historic sites impacted by the live firing range at Retidian, including nine that are eligible for the National Register. Most of the sites that we're dealing with or short-term occupation, uh, perhaps maybe came up for a week or a couple of days or something like that. Uh, here, uh, different resources and then leave. Uh, so we're not talking about a major village, especially in the live fire training range. However, in terms of value from a historic preservation perspective, Joseph said smaller sites are just as, if not more important than larger sites. As for how mitigation efforts are going so far, he noted that Guam State Historic Preservation Office has raised issue over the military's pre-data recovery plan, noting the site evaluations weren't up to expectations. So why are we in data recovery if the SHPO's office thought it was not an adequate plan? Well, the, the, the military has certain contracts that they put out. We don't control the military, and so they, they do certain things, and it, it's kind of a back and forth uh, type of um, aspect. Local advocates like former Senator Hope Cristobal spoke at today's hearing. She advocated for more resources to protect these and other sites. We need a responsive government of Guam office dedicated to the protection and the preservation and given the resources to fight the Chamorro people hold within a library that would be forever gone and slowly slipping away when we destroy these sites, including eroding our language and our culture. We need to save our people. Guam State Historic Preservation Officer was not at today's hearing. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.